Paula Dinkoy Flanick from Coach Tactics and welcome to my first video blog. I went to a speed networking event yesterday and I thought I'd share some of the stuff that I learned. First of all, never, never, never wear a sweater. <laughs> Probably I'll start with the practical things. Don't wear a sweater because it is a it becomes a hot environment where you are sweating and people are talking and yelling over each other and you're sitting in tight quarters and moving over. In fact, I had to do the moving. The other row didn't have to do the moving. But all in all, it was it was interesting. Um, if you're thinking about trying to get as much exposure in as little time as possible, it's probably a good idea. If you do something that is really quick to understand. I'm a coach, so for other coaches, you know, most people don't really understand what coaching is. They think it's consulting and that's fine. But the way that I usually get clients from networking events or people interested in speaking to me more is by listening to their problems and that was not the environment to do so. So my tip of the day is if you are a coach or if you have the type of business where it's not easily understood and uh, you'd like to find out a little bit more depth about what people do, what their problems are, and how you can help them, which to me is the number one golden rule of networking is you're going there to deliver value. You're not really going to get clients. Uh, at least in the back of my mind, that's what I always have as an objective. So tip of the day, as I said, is if you're if you have something more you want to say or if you are looking for a deeper conversation, speed networking is not the way to go. Um, so I imagine that's probably true for speed dating as well. But what do I know? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.